casting was, you know, 80% of the game in making a movie, I would say, at least. So it was very much about finding those three guys and how they kind of play off each other. Not motion, not motion, not motion. The three that are together, they're all different people, but together they are a great team. Why is Mrs. Killer fucking get us? The movie is supposed to feel as real as possible. It's a little bit harder thing to have an audience suspend that notion when it's, you know, actors they've seen either on TV or in movies. We want to be big-time players. We need to make a big-time play. They wanted to cast people who kind of wouldn't have to act too much, you know? And I think I am a lot like Thomas Cub, you know? And Oliver's a lot like Costa, and I think JB is a lot like JB. It all clicks for us. Tell me your name for the camera. Thomas Mann. Great, whenever you're ready. Well, I'd say let's leave, but at this point, I mean, there'd probably be a riot if we tried. We did this open call online, just looking for kids that we thought could give us what we wanted. Hey, uh, Dick, look around. Right, it's completely fucking out of control. When we first saw him in the audition, he was sweet. He had a vulnerability that I, I thought was perfect for the character of Thomas Cup. And it wasn't so much, you know, kids playing roles. It was more like, let's find the kids that are, are very similar to our characters. What up, bitches? This is Coaster. This is my fucking Project X. Peace. Someone in my in an acting class said, so like, yo, there's this audition. The guys do the hangover. I was like, oh shit, you know, I'm perfect for this part. It's on, motherfucker! The difficulty with a character like Costa is that he's a very obnoxious kind of guy. Thomas is bitching out. Oh, oh! Originally, we wanted someone that had a lot of confidence, but you didn't quite understand why. Back in Queens, I had hoes blowing me on the wreck. The way the character read up for me was just this character. That's me acting comedy. Sup, sisters? Thomas Cub's house. Eight o'clock. Come get a piece of this white chocolate. He had certain qualities that we even wanted to write into the movie. Talk to me if you know what's good for you, bro. If someone's known you have to like that tell you don't, you're so fucking scared of everything. Grow some fucking balls, you bitch. <laughs> he just came in and he was just so determined and just like the way he looked. And he nailed every audition. I remember I pulled down my pants in the first audition. I was supposed to be on a toilet. I just took a lot of risks because there was nothing to lose. You go into those things thinking that you have some lose. You got to get it. You go in there thinking he gives a shit. If this doesn't work, and whatever. We needed a really strong character to get these two other kids out of this state of anonymity. High school pussy for days. What? Mind your own business, lady. It's fun to be an asshole. It's the most fun part to play, you know? It's like how many times you get to express all the anger. You know, you can take it from anywhere. I'm Jonathan Daniel Brown. I'm 20 years old, and I'm 5'5". Five five. They set up a website called projectxopenupcall.com, and I submitted a video. And then uh, after that, I got a call, came in for an audition. I'm an enlightened Republican, so I'm totally fine with you working at Sephora and smoking yards at cock. But do you also have to smoke clothes? That shit smells worse than Gandalf's dirty old balls, yo. With JB, he's funny to, to watch. I found out I got the part, and it was just... It's a shock, man. It's not something I expected. Especially in a project that specifically targets unknowns, that you'd be the unknown they target. That's just crazy talk, you know? Dibs. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Huh? I wanna declare it just in case. We had a lot of fun with JB Anna. For me, personally, he's the one guy, like, I would just laugh by just purely looking at his face. He just got an unusualness to him, an oddness to him. Well, I'd say the difference between myself and, and sort of movie JB. JB in this movie is kind of quiet, kind of sweet. In real life, I talk way too much. I don't know how many times I've been told to shut the hell up on the set. Shut the fuck up! Oddly enough, love by Oliver. Oliver tells me I talk too much. Shut the fuck up, JB! He's Costa, so bad sign. I love you guys. <laughs> Oh, seriously. I wanted to get as much sort of realism out of their friendship as possible, so we sent them off to spend the day at Disneyland and hung out with them for a day and a night. They wanted us to make it feel as genuine as possible, our friendship, you know, and our, our bond. <laughs> not many people can understand the situation we put them to, put them from nowhere, not really having, you know, much experience. And I think we just all were like, let's try and give it our best to become friends and just open yourself up. As soon as we started rehearsing, we started hanging out every day. So I kind of pride myself on how natural the friendship feels on camera because that's not really scripted. It's a real friendship. We're hanging out every day. That was one fucking hell of a night. There's nice chemistry between us all. It's a good balance to have. And we're great friends now, so it worked. Part of the reason we even wanted to make the movie is to work with new faces and just put people out there and see, you know, 
what'll happen. That's amazing. No! So in an odd way, it started like an experiment, which I think is where we kind of came up with Project X. It started as an experiment, and it actually became a project and a movie, you know, it's interesting. You gotta have faith, son.